Right, so let's get to it. The first thing to do is to remove the, the panel which contains all the connectors and the switches. It just comes off by undoing these four screws in the corners. You don't want to loosen the inner four screws because that's holding the circuit board inside the panel which you will see shortly. So that's done now. Let's get the panel out. And since I've already opened this one, so I kind of know where the all the wires go. But if you if you're unsure, then maybe it's a good idea to either mark them or take a photo or something. I'll just unplug them. These come off really easily just by pulling gently. So there's three wires here you need to undo. Like so. And carefully pull the wire out. And that's the panel removed. Um, on the circuit board, you, you can see that it's, it has markings on it already. So it says deck in there. That's for declination axis and RA in there for right ascension. So with that said, the only thing you need to worry about is to remember which one of these motors is which one. So this motor here is the declination axis, this is the RA axis. So I'm going to mark the motors D for declination and R for right ascension. And this wire here is the poloscope illuminator LED wire and it's different from the other ones so pretty easy to distinguish from the other wires. Another little tip that I like to share with you guys is to make a, like a screw chart from for all the screws that you undo and where they come from so it's much easier to to put this thing to back together again because you, you're going to be undoing a lot of screws and they're all a little bit different than you and after a while if, if, especially if you have to take a break come back to the next day or next week or whatever then it's much easier to remember where the screws came off from um, I'm using a simple piece of paper and some blue tack and just attaching the screws themselves into it and that's has worked for me in many cases. I've, I've dismantled a lot more complex things than this. For example, a, a, a Canon DSLR. I, I did uh, some filter modifications to it, and uh, this same same ideology worked really really nicely for that as well. So the next step is to remove the motors themselves. They are held together in place with these. Uh, socket cap screws or whatever they are called. Uh, there's two for each of the motors. So I'm going to use a screwdriver with a bit like that in mind and uh, take them off. It should be fairly straightforward. Undo the screws and hope I'm not going to be dropping them inside the mount. Gonna need a little bit more light. And there seems to be a couple of washers on the screws, so be careful not to drop them into the mount as well. So there's a screw and two, a locking washer and a washer on each of the screws. So that's one. Let's do the other one on the 
declination motor. A magnetic tool helps from not dropping anything inside. That's another one. And now the declination motor should come off. Just by pulling gently. And there you go. That's the D motor removed. Let's do the other one as well. Same thing, two bolts, two washers for each bolt. It's one of them. And the last one. And there you have it. So that's the motors removed and as always I'm going to be attaching my bolts to my bolt chart.